in the name of my ancestors Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry, liked and disliked. <laughs> I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub 7, your brother and hopefully your friend. Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to uh, bring up a concern by one of my most closest and greatest supporters and someone who has always been there for me. And this is a good subject. It is needed. And it also addressed the concern for not only this wonderful person in my life, but for anyone under the sound of my voice, those of you who support this ministry, and even for those who dislike this ministry, who dislike what I say, but perhaps after listening to what is being said here, perhaps you might have a change of heart perhaps you might have a change of mind the concern my friend has with me is that even though they are of black conscious even though they are part of the struggle of our people for liberation in this country and around the world they are concerned that perhaps I am too harsh with speaking in regard to Caucasian people one of my newest videos I believe I was speaking about white America is not telling their children the full truth about 9-11. In fact, they should educate themselves outside of the general media. Now, I don't know what I really said in those few minutes, but whatever was said to my friend they are being a person of black conscience, a person who loves us as a people, but they felt as though he or she felt as though Brother Talik was harsh on white America and he or she felt offended because if they were white, they would feel offense. But being black and having an African-based mind, that of African consciousness, that which is striving to learn how to regain our black conscience, they told me, he or she, said to me, I am offended and I cannot say on this particular video out of all the videos you have made I always give you great video but on this particular one I cannot do that because I am offended so if I am offended being of black liberation I know white folks should be offended. And when you offend somebody, and you're snuffed up seven, all white people are not evil. All white people are not like this. All people are not like that. When you speak like this, you alienate 
perhaps the small few Caucasian people willing and able to help us in our struggle to uplift ourselves and our people. And this is a legitimate concern. So I wish to address this particular matter in the best way that I can. It makes no difference what your color. In fact, I don't represent color. That is something that was created by races so they could divide the human family. And I am not about division of the human family. I'm about the unification of the human family beginning with those who suffer the worst. And that that particular group of people are the descendants of slaves born in America. And they are called black people. So I must stand for those in the worst condition and I am part of them. My mother is them. My father is them. My sister, my uncle, my great grandparents who were slaves. I am part of them. We are in the worst condition. And those who are in the worst condition when you have the have an injury or when you or when you are in an accident, they are the first ones to be treated. You don't treat a person that scraped their knee in an emergency room before somebody suffered from gunshots. It's as simple as that. So please, well, I don't care. I'm not going to beg you, but I'm not going to treat those who don't need the treatment as bad as someone else. Treat them first. I must treat the gunshot victim first. Mind you, listen, mind you that myself suffer sickness. So here we are. A people made sick. A people made deaf, dumb, and blind. We're trying to treat others simply because we have gained a certain amount of healing, but we are still sick. And we are still suffering ourselves. So it is good that I have brothers and sisters and people around me to tell me of my error. But I want to show you and I want to speak to you and hope that you understand why I say and why I do the things that I do. And I'm doing this because of my love and my respect for you regardless to color. Because color don't mean nothing to me. But for racists, that's a prime concern. But since I'm not a racist, since I had no part in the creation of race, then you are ignorant. And it is you who have become the deceiver. It is you how it is you who have become the troublemaker. When I tell you clearly, I am here for the downtrodden. Those who are in the worst condition, and it just so happens that those who are in the worst condition just so happen to be called black Americans or African Americans. In this struggle for black liberation. We cannot be successful being an unrighteous people, an immoral people. We cannot be successful being a carbon copy of those who oppress us. We cannot be successful by mimicking and being just like that which we complain about. 
I do not intend to be like my oppressor because if that's the case then I should just shut up it makes no sense to get rid of one slave master one troublemaker and you become a troublemaker yourself hold on going to part two in the name of my ancestors peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry, like what I say, but perhaps after listening to what is being said here, perhaps you might have a change of heart, perhaps you might have a change of mind. The concern my friend has with me is that even though they uh, bring up a concern by one of my most closest and greatest supporters and someone who has always been there for me and this is a good subject it is needed and disliked <laughs> I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub Seven, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to, and it also address the concern for not only this wonderful person in my life, but for anyone under the sound of my voice, those of you who support this ministry, and even for those who dislike this ministry, who dislike what